we are back and it's still February and you know this month we were talking about love and family and so this week we wanted to share a fun project with you where you can make a little family portrait inside of a cute little house. Now we all know that families come in all different shapes and sizes, right? You might live with your mom and your dad, or you might live with just your mom or just your dad, or you might have two moms or two dads, or you might live with your grandparents. There's all different ways that families can live in a house together, right? Mm -hmm. So we want you guys to show us how your family lives. We want you to create these cute little houses and then draw a picture on the inside of who lives in your house with you. Now, um, my mom didn't actually draw her. She printed out some pictures. I'm not a very good artist, but Ivy created a really nice one. So we'll show you all the steps to do it. You ready? Yep. All right, let's get started. The materials you'll need for today's project are pretty simple. You just need some plain white paper, some scissors. We have grown-up scissors and kid scissors and something to draw with. Ivy's gonna use colored pencils. You could use markers or crayons, but we're gonna use colored pencils. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our piece of white paper, it's your white paper, and we're gonna fold it in half this way. So you just wanna line up your edges, put a crease right across the middle. So it looks like this. Ooh, like a book. Okay, after you have it folded in half, you wanna open it back up. So now you see that nice line right down the middle. So open it back up. And then you're gonna take your edges and you're gonna fold each one of them in to the middle of your paper. So you're gonna take one side and fold it in right to that line. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Okay, so once we have our paper like this, so it opens, we're gonna sit it down and we're gonna take a marker or a pencil or whatever and we're gonna draw our house on it. So we're gonna start right up at the top, right here in the middle, and we're gonna draw two lines down so it looks like the roof of a house. But make sure you don't draw them down all the way. Right, kind of like a triangle. With no bottom. With no bottom, yep. So it kind of looks like the roof of the house. Okay. Once you have your triangle, then we're going to take our marker and we're going to draw, we're just going to do like some squiggles. You could also make a straight line, but it's going to, so it looks like the bottom of the roof. You could also just do a straight line. Ivy's just going to do a straight line. It kind of starts to look like a house. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our little window where we'll be peeking out. So we're just gonna draw two little squares. We're gonna do one on this side and one on this side. So it kind of looks like a window that's gonna open. Good job. Okay, and after we're done with this, we are gonna take our scissors and we are going to cut, we're going to cut the roof here, and we're also going to cut out these windows. So just those two things need to be cut. Okay, now that you have your roof cut off, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut these windows, but we want them to be able to open and shut, so we're just going to cut these two lines. We're not gonna cut the line that goes across the back, just the two on the sides. So just two little cuts. One, two. One, two. And one, two. So now they're like little shutters that open and shut. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that we're done with our cutting, you can just decorate the outside of your house. You can maybe try to make it look like your house. You could make it look like it has bricks, or you could color it if your house is blue or pink. You could color it in. Okay, we're done decorating our houses.
The next thing we're gonna do is draw our family pictures. So we're gonna take a pencil and we're gonna just trace along the inside of this box. So when we open our house up, we can see right where we need to draw. I already did that. Yeah, Ivy already did that step. So I'm just tracing right along the inside of that. So when I open my house up, there's a box right there. And that's where I'm gonna draw the picture of myself. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this. Ivy's a really good artist, so she's going to draw a picture of herself. I'm not a very good artist, so I just printed off a couple of pictures of my family that I'm going to cut out and I'm going to glue inside of my house. You can do it either way, but I like the drawing better. I'm just not very good at it. Okay, so we drew our self-portraits inside the window. So now, look, when you open up this little window, there's a picture of me. It is a picture you, of me. When My you untied. open up Ivy's little window, there's a picture of her. <laughs> and now that we have our self-portraits done, we're going to open our house up, and we're going to draw pictures of the other people that live in our house. And so you can draw whoever lives in your house with you. The people, the animals, whoever you want to drop that lives in your house. Okay, we are done decorating the inside of our houses. I put my little self-portrait inside the window, and then when you open it up, I have a little picture of my family, Ivy and her dad and our two dogs. Now, do you want to show yours, Ivy? Uh -huh. So uh, here's my house, and um, when you open the two windows, there's a picture of me, Then when you open the whole thing, Here's a picture of my family. And there's my mom. There's my dad with a hammer in his hand. Because he's always fixing stuff. There's my uh, dog Zoe and my dog Akila is over there. Here's Ivy's. We hope you enjoyed our video on how to make a family portrait inside of our cute little houses. And we hope you get a chance to make one too with your family. And we will see you back next week for more fun. Bye!